Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick, we're playing Station Ears. No, last time. Uh, last time we programmed our centrifuge, which we currently have a light on at the moment, which should be telling us that it's full. Or run out of fuel. Or just switched off. Or not working. Uh, it doesn't really tell us that much at the moment. We set up our greenhouse. Uh, so we've got all the Harveys up. Uh, they're not really automated. We've got our atmosphere automated. Um, it's cold in here, so that's not working. It is switched off the pumps there, so that means that we should have our collection operating and full of uh, liquid. So this blue light there sort of says it's not safe, so switch it off. This one's switched off as well. And I probably need to get something in here and maybe in here as well. But we'll see how we go. Uh, so that's there. The CO2, we still have plenty of CO2 in here. We've not come anywhere close to using all of that up yet. But it'll get here. Uh, we are down to 28.4% CO2. So it is a bit used up. Uh, once that gets down below 5%, 5 the CO2 pump should switch on there and start blowing more in there to make sure our plants stay safe. Uh, we've got our grass has been planted. I only had 10 seeds there, so I've still got two more. I've got to wait for them to go to seed, and I'll be able to sort of pick them and plant an extra two. Then I'm going to switch on the Harveys and have them all picking the uh, grass, which will then go into our composter to produce uh, hydrogen and nitrogen, although it does seem to be being produced at a rather high temperature. I do have a couple of radiators on outside uh, to try and cool it down a little bit. And it's working a little bit. That's Mars, so radiators don't work real good here, but um, I don't know why it's coming out so hot. Whatever comes out of there is coming out about, you know, out at a couple of hundred degrees, so I don't think that's meant to be happening. Um, but, yeah, so we're just going to wait a little while now for the plants to grow, and um, then we can do a bit more in the greenhouse. But until then... We had our water thing out to do. We had a to-do list. We've done our compost. We still do the water. Wait for plants to grow. Our public address system. Probably do that. Filling station would be handy. Uh, although I'm pretty good at the moment. But Amy might be our next one to get because I'm probably going to be need someone to go uh, mine water for me. Because I probably don't have a huge amount in there. Ooh, 1.2 litres. Yay! Yeah, I think that qualifies as not much. Now yeah, pinch is on now. Uh, but anyway, we shall let... Now, if there's some confusion about my ventilation system here, is I am, at night time, I'm collecting gas, which is cold gas, um, but it is coming in from the Martian atmosphere with just uh, oxygen and nitrogen. Um, so and I just blow that into the room uh, when the room gets too hot and that will eventually displace all the other gases. Yeah, a bit of water in there. So I've been dropping some chunks of water uh, to try and fill up the uh, hydroponics. But that's getting not really filtered out. It's increasing again. Ah, it's only not much. Uh, so yeah, so the, water, the ventilation is just coming in here when it's uh when it gets too warm and it should be coming in at about 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 two-thirds nitrogen one-third oxygen so it's coming in a nice breathable mix and as it blows in it will just eventually displace all the other gas which will get sucked out of the exhaust vent then just back into the atmosphere so uh the gas mix that's coming in is just conveniently what is stripped from the atmosphere and it's just blown in when it gets too hot. I won't use it quick enough to actually for the mix to be a problem there. So uh, it's just a, a handy, handy amount. Uh, now our um, centrifuge. Our centrifuge was going all right. It should be ready to go. So I shall switch that on ready to go. You're open. You're open. Uh, I have my yellow doohickey 
That's our configuration tablet there. Uh, we should be able to have a look at our centrifuge. And if it's at uh, 3,000 reagents. Now, I've had some people say that you might not want to have exactly 3,000 on there because this thing does chuck out the occasional fraction of a material there. So that may end up with the occasional fraction of something in there. So putting something in at exactly 3,000 might not be the way to do it. So uh, I will uh, import you and say edit edit anytime soon roll I oh, know we're good we're good uh, so we should say branch uh, uh, greater than or equal to we'll stop at 3000 point something or 299 point something now oh, we'll just put 2999 So if it gets the 299 point, whatever, uh, stop. Uh, but it's got to a 3000, it's run to a stop uh, routine here, and you're staying on stop. Export that one. So it's got the thing shut down. So if I open it, it should stay in the stop routine. And start chucking everything out. Um, and it should stay in the stop routine until I close that. We're good. Now I've still got a crap ton of unused ore in there. That'll take a little while to finish out, empty out, because there's a, a lot in there. But anyway, now so I want to collect some ice, so I won't get any ice out of that, so maybe I will want to get Amy working. Uh, so I've been printing out some bits and while we're waiting for that empty out let's grab some bits and see if we can get get Amy to work now for Amy I will need some consoles I'll need some chips I'll need an Amy bot I shall need um, probably a silo to empty into got an Amy bot um, get a silo there's a silo uh, so uh, you, you, very ceremonious dumping of the everything there. Get rid of you, put you away. I'm printing out some bits there. I have got switch, power transmitter, housings, computer, IC transformer. I uh, probably need a heap of cables. Let's come down to my last few on them. A couple of chips, a housing, and some. Uh, grab me some cables. Okay, I'll probably need some shoots. I've uh, got some shoots. Don't need you. Well, let's just. Um, Start organising things out here, shall we? Uh, you can go there, you can go there. Uh, no. I need some sheets, some plastic. Uh, that's enough. Uh, that should be enough for you. Uh, some shoots would be handy. Have shoots. I have more shoots. Uh, shoots. Um, shoots. And uh, that might be enough. Cable. Um, that might do us. Okay, so how are you doing? We're making copper, so we still got a fair bit to go. We'll probably hook the furnace up as well. Uh, let's get Amy going first. Amy GPS. 
Um, that's probably everything until I remember what I've forgotten. Now, you. Uh, I can probably put you our. Um, that'll be to you. Are you empty? You're empty. Right, so now you should start up again. You're trying? Anytime soon? There we go. Okay, so you're moving. Right, Dale. Um, put you into there. I have to get past that cable, but that can be... I can switch circuits on that. That's just for them. I can just switch circuits to that one. Put you onto there. Uh, grab you to there. Come across to the middle somewhere. Are you going to do it? Oh yeah, you're going up. Okay, right, fine. Now I need you switch on. You need a chip in there. Uh, power transmitter. Um, that's about the middle. You into there. Do I have a battery for you. I do not have a battery for you. down as there there I should have a switch down as there you can go into there uh, displays four of them and there question mark yes sure okay now cable you all up you want to go to you to power on there to power on there you can go to you you, 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 uh, I guess you want to come down, oops, and across, down to you, get it right, you, you, you will come up to you, 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 you. Right, so I need a battery, which I have not printed. Uh, a silo. Uh, one unload. Put a silo up there, that'll be out of the way. there you can empty out on that side 
Benzinfoto bleibe ich hier. Äh, yeah. Why is my jetpack so crap at the moment? And my thrust is down. Okay, I've been using the F key too many times. Thrust back up again. That's better. Get that out of there. Now, um, so you are all set up. Should have power. You, 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 oop, oop. Uh, you shall switch to Amy. Oops, Amy. You're good. You're on. I didn't have a battery in there. Um, right. Well, I need to get your battery. I could fix up the silo. You plastic and cables screwdriver I think there we go now I need to get power to you which is ooh, here nicely planned I think it was on the other side. I don't think I can put the cables down. Yeah. That we're good. You should have power now. Waste tank caution. Break you. Put in you lot. Eat there. One more. Oops. Okay, got more. I think that's up too high. Probably still too high. That looks good. And an inlet. Right, that should be good. A uh, battery we need for you. Oh, I better better get you going too. Now on this one, I am just going to use my uh, Amy code. There should only be one housing. There is only one housing. Okay. Now I have on here my. Amy code, which I did write a long time ago, so it'll be down, down a fair way. There we go. Amy controller. It's on the workshop, so if you want to use it, just grab it from there. Now you remember, you will have to set your own GPS locations for this one there to make it work. But this one will control Amy. Uh, export you. It'll make it go out, mine, come back, wait to charge up. Maybe you want to move that one a bit closer to the charger. Yeah. Uh, it should mine up, come back, charge up, then go and uh, mine again. If I can decide how it's going to work. Uh. Shouldn't, didn't have to be that close to the charger. Well, I'm doing it anyway. I bump into the computer now. Uh, but that'll do us. Right. Okay, that is set up. Did you go back to full power? You have. Nice. 
Right, so that's going again. Uh, now, Amy, we've got to get going. So that has been exported. Switch you on. You're going to chuck a wobbly. Now, we have our displays. I shall want... Probably go find her when she falls in our hole. Uh, the X position. The Z position. We'll have the mode and the power. Okay, so now I need to set up the robot, which is the transmitter. Uh, yep, there we go. The X display, which is the X pos. The Z display, which is the Z pos. The mode display, which we call the mode, and the display ch the charge, which we call power instead of charge, and the lever, which we call the lever. Right, so that should get us going. Switch that on. It's given us the current location of Amy. Mode she's in and the uh, charge. I might just um, say, there you go. Have one on me. Why are you still saying zero? Well, there we go. Weird, but okay. Oh, okay. That's probably because you're in mode five, and it was in a bit of a holding pattern there. Uh, we're good. Uh, now, so I've got to set the positions of everything. So I want my home position, which should be right here. Is uh, twenty-seven minus sixty-four. Is twenty. 57 and minus 64 that will also be our unloading position 27 minus 64 that's a six six there if you want a waypoint where she can go to to not bump into things but it has clear sight of where she's going to unload and probably where she can of mine too. So we'll go out to here, 10 minus 65, should be good enough for that. Uh, which is here. Waypoint is uh, 10 minus 65. And a spot to go mining. Which is... Wrong glasses. Uh, well, we can see some rocks out here. Oh, there's some water. There's a big hole. Don't, don't go near the hole. We want some water. So you can come over here. Minus 8, minus 91. I better grab some mining gear to fill that in. Or she'll end at the bottom of that one, guaranteed. Yeah, minus 8, minus 91. We mine at minus 8, minus... 91. Um, so if I export that, switch you on. Now you've jumped into mode 5, okay. But you should now run out to the waypoint, come back here to unload, and then she's fully, if she's fully charged, she'll then head back out to the waypoint and then go off mining. Uh, there's the waypoint. Turn around, come back. Of course, I'll have to make a make a bit of a safe room here. Probably put up some gates and probably windows and everything on top of that. Merely turns around, go back to the waypoint because she's fully charged, and then head out mining. And waypoint and goes mining nice that looks like it's working you look like you're working um i need to go inside and do stuff okay oh, that's right i had to get some uh oh probably clean that up i need to get a new battery for my 
Maybe it's what's it? No. I shall grab a new battery for that. Not a hundred of them. Fine, I'll be fine. I'll empty my. I might make up my uh, tank station. That's something I've got to do. Yoink, you're done. Ah, uh, I have to go fill up that hole. I need some more solder. Okay. Oh, well, there's some solder. Maybe not that much. Uh, I split that in half. Maybe put you into smaller stacks there. Well, let's save that one for later. Awesome, that should keep you happy for a little bit. Now you... I might want to start uh, picking stuff up. I can make a big batch of steel now, of course. Maybe put up a garbage disposal to get rid of this uranium. Uh, you, you. Okay, so is that everything? There's another thousand iron and stuff. Right. Uh, oh, I might as well go out and see if I can find myself some more water too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Oh, and if I grab the right glasses, that is. Well done. Well done. Oh, you're back. You've got a chunk of water. I sent you out in a field of water and you come back with 15 of them. Anyway, I'll grab my sensor lenses. I put away my GPS. Uh, how are you? You can go away. Grab you. Uh, you can go away. I've got my mining belt. We're good. Let's go chase some water and see if I can get water. Now I say first up, let's go plug up this hole. Okay, I need to go grab some more of that. There we go. That's solved that. Yep, that'll do. Um, oh, more big holes. That's probably a deep hole. Yeah, that's a deep hole. That's pretty good. Now, uh, it was water we were looking for. Now, you on. There's some water. There's more water over there. More water. Oh, we've got tons of water. Nothing to worry about. Gold. I don't get a lot of gold out of the centrifuge, so I probably could um, be quite paranoid and go and hunt a heap of gold. Yeah, you go into there. You go into hand. And let's go.
Okay. Close that up. Now, Amy will be give us a bit of hand with that, and uh, that's hopefully going to be mining I have to do. I got some water. And Amy's already come back with 16 chunks, so, well, whatever they are. Uh, but real good. Oh, we have. I want to go get that water in there. I could just chuck it on the floor again. Uh, now our water crusher, we. I can. Let's uh, switch you off and get you out of there. Oh, I need more copper. Oh, I got another stack of it there. Almost a full stack. Plus the new stuff. That should give us a nice shiny stack of 500. Looks like I can then split in the stacks of 100. And that should keep you happy. Uh, I was going to say uh, a memory. I grab a memory and fix the other ice crusher. Uh, you and a logic IO. I can go fix the other ice crusher again, so it's going to operate a bit quicker. And we'll see how our plants are going. Uh, well, they've not improved a great deal, but they're getting closer. Right, so now our ice crusher here. I want to make sure we're not waiting around forever for the ice to crush. Um, so I should just need to clean up a little. Uh, you, um... Give me a tool belt. There it is. Well, I've got some space there. I've probably not. Yeah, I've not hooked up that. I go around that way, so I'll need to hook up from the back. I could just write out directly from the IO. But you right here, and the power is on the wrong side. Okay, um, sure. Oh, well, that can work. Um, right, so put you there. I can put the memory there. I can say, oh, okay, you can go onto there. You go onto here. And you can just come over in the most ugly way possible. Hey, it's temporary. Don't worry about it. Uh, you... Right, so now I have to set... You just say 200. I shall set in from the logic memory and out to the. I'll go set that one out first. Out to the ice crusher and we shall set our setting. Well, that should switch that up. Our setting should now be set to 200, which is the temperature that it actually has to heat the ice to. Well, as, it, as it's been crushed at. A temperature above that, whoops, wrong one. It should now not try and heat it at all and it should crush it pretty quickly. Ha 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 ha. 
That's so much better. It is cooling down. Well, there's more of it. Ah, uh, does the plants need a extra water temperature? Yeah, that's not bothering them. Okay, they seem to be fine with that. So, um, awesome. Done. And that's all my water crushed. Fine. We can live with that. Got to paint that. Important. Uh, you. Boom. Done. Nice. Uh, flat walls. Any flat walls? That'll do us. I can put down some walls. Finish off a floor in here. Nice. Uh, have some steel sheets. They're done right. Ah, there we go. Feeling more like home already. Yeah. That does feel a lot like home. Sadly. Ah, uh, right. Now, you're still not grown. So, no Harvey card code for you yet. But I need... Ah, uh, so, we have got... Amy done. P.A. Hey, can I get my public address system out of that one? Uh, well, let's have a look. I need. Oh, I could probably get out of the same chip. That one is the weather display beacon. That's probably my base base controller. Let's name you. Uh, that is the. Oops. Base housing, so you will be the alarm housing. Grab you, import you, and thinking, 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 thinking. There we go. Now we've got our alarms, we push them all into the stack. We set our lights. Now I'll need a klaxon sign. I'll probably, or if I hook, hook this up to my suit, I'll be able to play a message straight to our suit. Um, but if our new system there, our, our survival system, when that update drops, we'll have to spend time out of our suit. So I'll probably need klaxon horns as well. But um, I shall probably need to alias the alarm uh, 10 I shall probably need to alias a message to uh, 11 because I shall need to come through here and check all the alarms and decide which message if any needs to be played so on our reset the first thing we'll have to do is move into message, we'll just set that straight to zero. So now I can say, if I put it up to here, I can save to DB housing the setting. Just so I know, so I can see what's going on here. Right, so we're reading the alarm. We divide it by 100 to get the colour. 
And now I still have the alarm in our zero. So if I now say uh, I need to mod, mod, I get the modulus of it, which is basically divide by 100 and keep the remainder, not keep the value you get with. So we should just say the the message should be the number, which is R0, which is what we've read for our alarm code, and we divide that by 100, keep the remainder. So if the message is, the last two digits are the uh, message code, so that should be dropped into a message. Okay, so now I shall need, well, now we don't want to put in a message because that was get overwritten by the next alarm. So we shall use R1. I shall reuse R1 because I've written the color there. So I shall reuse R1 equals that. And then I shall have to select select um, message uh, based on R1 now if R1 is a value we shall use R1 if it's 0 we shall keep whatever's in message and then we shall check the next alarm if there is an alert message there to play, it'll overwrite the message with the new message. If it's no message there to play, it'll just keep the old one. And that should keep going until it gets back to here and set it back to zero. That should do it. No errors. We have an alarm state of zero because we've got no messages to play. Uh, but... I come into here, I switch you off and put you into there with a 419, whatever that was. It gives us a red alert, it should give us a 19 on the message, which it has done. Excellent. I'll switch that back on. You've gone green again. Our message should be back to zero. It is excellent. So that's doing. Now we've got to play the message. Ah, uh, right. I probably need something to play it through, won't I? Uh, so I shall alias the transmitter D zero. I currently have nothing connected to this one, so. If I put my logic transmitter onto D0, that should be able to play stuff through my suit. Uh, logic transmitter. There we go. Now, go away, you. Now, so that's the transmitter onto there. So instead of writing it to the housing, I should be able to play it to the suit. I don't want to play it every time it comes through here. I have to put a counter in there to ignore it. Um, so I'll put in a counter. Uh, alias the counter to R12. So I shall say we start let's just reset them I shall just have to say add counter counter to one so we'll increment the counter each time uh, if um, I don't know, every tenth time it's come through, I'll read the message. 
So I should take the mod. So R zero equals the mod of the counter divided by ten. Uh, branch. Uh, branch not equal to zero the main oops uh, zero so if it's not a multiple of ten skip down the main it is a multiple of ten um, I'm going to want to save transmitter a sound alert. Found alert. Um, message. I've already set message to zero. Ah, oh. crap. Uh, so I'm going to put this up above that. Okay, so that's going to have to sit up there somewhere. Okay, so if I take you down there, sit you down there. Take you down there, sit you down there as well. So that's going to have to come straight after that. So that's going to have to be different. It'll have to be a branch relative. Uh, we'll figure that one out as we go. So we need to play the sound alert to the message. We should probably need to say to the find the the klaxon. Uh, confirm F1 speaker. Play. Oh, it's called klaxon. Right, grab you. Okay, so we are incrementing the counter if the counter is uh, a uh, multiple of 10. Or it's not a multiple of 10, skip over this. If it is a multiple of 10, play the message. I've got to reset that back to zero. I've set the sound alert back to zero. Right, so if we say uh, sound alert, play the message. And then I'd have to probably set back up here. If I immediately set set that to zero, what does that automatically come back to zero? I'll oh, just hash that one now. They, I don't remember if they fixed that or not. Right, so increment the counter. If it's a multiple of ten, we can play the message and save bash to the Laxon. Uh, then that's just mode on the klaxon, I think it is. Mode um, message. And that should work. So branch uh, relative three. Is that going to work? Uh, you boop export uh, now I just need to get a switch you off and we'll do it from here shall we uh, let's 
419. Intruder alerts. Ah, uh, only one of them. Okay, why do I only get one? I should be repeating that message. That message is still there. Ah, uh, why aren't you repeating that message? Because I, I took that line out. That'll be why. So I do have to put that line in there. I do need to reset to zero. Intruder. Oh. Intruder. That's <laughs> fit not set it to zero that quickly. Ah, uh, okay. So if I move that down into here, just before I set the message, set it to zero and set it to message. That gonna work? Intruder alerts. That's better. Intruder alerts. Ah, there we go. Intruder alerts. Intruder alerts. Maybe change that to twenty seconds. Nice. Okay, so now uh, Intruder alert. Intruder alert. How can I heal still hear that? Intruder alert. Intruder alert. My helmet is very loud. Uh you Intruder alert. In the 50th century. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. It is there. Is it working? I was probably Intruder switched alert. off. They are by default switched off, aren't they? Uh, so I shall need to be at the start. Intruder alert. Uh, save batch to the Laxon. On one intruder alert. Save batch to the Laxon volume one hundred. Intruder alert. Uh, export you. Intruder alert. Now volume's a hundred. Intruder alert. Is that working? Intruder alert. Is that coming from a suit? Intruder <coughs> alert. Yeah, that must have been coming from his suit. Why isn't that working? 
Ah, oh, because I haven't put the sound through. Oh, you. Because I, I didn't actually transmit the uh, message through it. Um, okay. Uh, save batch to the Claxon mode zero and message. Okay, so it did put message through, right? So that's got to be save five now. Try again. Bought you. Anything? Intruder alert. Ah, yep, it's there. Okay, that's working now. Right. Intruder alert. Right, so that's coming through my suit speakers and through the PA system there as well. Intruder alert. Awesome, so I can just put them up anywhere. And that should work. Now I should also be able to Intruder alert. say... Uh, if I put on counter... Uh, Intruder alert. Alias. Red alert to R13. Uh, Intruder alert. I should be able to come down here and say... Intruder alert. We have our colour, R1. And I should be able to... A intruder alert. I'm going to have to reset that in the main thing as well. All right, so I shall say in here, move. Intruder alert. Red A L E R T. Red alert zero. So if I set that to zero. Intruder alert. Now set the color, the color is one, so now she shall set equal to, so set R1 if the color is red, which is four, and we shall select uh, red, red alert, Intruder alert, based on R1. Uh, now if it is true, Intruder alert. We should say one or just keep what if it's not a red alert, just keep whatever's in red. Uh, red Intruder alert. ERT. So that'll set. If any of them are red, it'll say save red alert. Intruder alert. I shall need to define a. a. Uh, whoops. Intruder alert. Flasher. Uh, not a kit, a flashing light. You. Intruder alert. Is it you. Well, uh. Intruder alert. Get message so we can go up. Intruder alert. Well, anyway, before we reset it, I can say put it up here. We shall save batch named to the uh, flasher. Intruder alert. Anything called. Uh, oops. Intruder alert. Red. Red alert. on intruder alert red alert so if red alert is set switch on any light flashing light called red alert intruder alert uh, you export you no alarm so that's good now intruder alert flashing light Intruder alert. 
Um, if we find intruder alerts, I gotta have a cable somewhere. Right, let's grab you into intruder alerts. Just up there will be fine. I put you intruder alerts to there. I should be able to grab heavy cables. Intruder alerts into there. Intruder alerts. Right now, switch you off. I grab you, name you Intruder Alert. Red Alert. You should switch on. That is, of course, an unacceptable red alert. Intruder Alert. There we go. Intruder Alert. So now, if we change that to a different alert, intruder alert. Uh, if we change that to say a 520, whatever that is, that is depressurizing. Depressurizing. Okay, it's a yellow alert, so it switched off the it's yellow, so it switched off the red alert because it's not a red alert, and change the message. Depressurizing. If I switch that back on again, that should reset my message to a full bank of green lights and it should say nothing. And it says nothing. Excellent. So I have got my PA system up and I have got my Amy up. So I've still got my filling station, still got to get me water, still got to get me plants. How do my plants go? Oh, they're good to go. I just need seeds now. You only grow 14. You're stupid grass. Uh, right. Anyway, I can wait for them to go to seeds. I can plant a couple more. Then I can put in my Amy code for them. Uh, you... One of them is good. The other two are pretty useless. They're taking their sweet time. But I've still got to get some um, fertilizer into those ones. Which I've got everywhere else except for them. Ah, well done. Ah, uh, yeah, but anyway. Here we go. Ah, uh, we have... Yeah, we've done all right. We've still got water. We're still alive. I still need a filling station. Still need some other things to go. Uh, but yeah, it's probably about it for today, so until next time, happy building. See ya.